Looking at the swords from Conan the Barbarian, everybody loves the iconic Atlantean. Some people, like me, actually prefer the father's sword. But is there actually an even better sword in Conan the Barbarian? Hi folks, Matt Eason here, Scholar Gladiator, and once again I am at Windlass's headquarters in their showroom here in Dehradun in India, and I'm taking the opportunity to play around with some Conan swords. I've looked at the fangs of the serpent, check that out if you haven't seen that already, and I've also done a comparison between the Atlantean sword and the father sword behind me up there. But, here's the news flash, the bombshell, I think there's an even better sword in Conan the Barbarian than either of these. These are cool, these are amazing fantasy designs, incredibly iconic, they still look as cool now as they did way back in the early 80s uh, when that movie came out, but I think there's an even cooler, even better sword, at least in some ways. What is it? Have you guessed? That's right, Valeria's sword. So here it is, Valeria Sword. And you know what? When I was a teenager watching Conan the Barbarian on permanent loop, because I loved that movie, uh, for a number of years it was the main thing I watched. Um, of all the swords in there, I always thought that the Father's Sword was cooler than the Atlantean Sword, but the coolest sword of all was Valeria's Sword. Why do I like it so much? Well, there's a number of factors. Firstly, there's something to do with size, nimbleness, proportions. This just looked like a more wieldable, practical sword for most people who aren't built like Arnie or don't have the strength of Conan. So for most typical people, this is a more normal sized sword, a normal, normal weighted sword. It also has to be said, in basic outline, it's essentially like a Chinese Dao. Okay, so yes, it does have a cross guard. Some Chinese Dao, actually, if we go back um, early on uh, into the Ming, pre-Ming dynasty, we do occasionally get cross guards rather than disc guards. So basically, this is like a Chinese Dao. Okay, so in a sense, and this is what I would say against it, it's in a way slightly less imaginative than certainly the Atlantean sword. Of these three swords, the Atlantean sword I think is the most imaginative design and it is the hero sword. The father's sword is essentially kind of a fantasy version of a Viking sword with a longer hilt, but this is essentially a fantasy version of a Dao. Now it does have some things which aren't typical for a historical sword. It has the uh, face emblem on there, it has a particular type of pommel that we don't really find on, on Chinese swords, and interestingly it has an integrated guard, you can see there. So the guard is actually made as part of the blade. Um, now I don't think this is a perfect sword by any means. There are some things that I would do to change this particular one. So this has a very cylindrical grip. And it has to be said, some Chinese swords and some East Asian swords, uh, for example Burmese Da and um, uh, Krabi uh, swords from um, uh, Thailand, they sometimes have cylindrical grips. And as you know if you watch my channel a lot, I'm not a massive fan of cylindrical grip. So I would give this a flatter grip. And that would also, bringing a, a flatter grip, thinner grip here, it would also give a thinner profile on the guard here, which would also bring the weight down. But the blade is great. It's a saber blade or a falchion blade or a messer blade. So it's no great surprise that I should like it because I love those types of sword. In terms of size, it's about the same as a katana or a Chinese dao, so it's sub 30 inch blade. It's not a particularly long blade, but it's nimble and it's um, well proportioned. It's not overly broad, it's not overly heavy. Um, and I think that for a thief, and this is important because we've got to use context here, Valeria is principally, she's not a battlefield warrior, she is a thief who gets into fights. And this is a great sword for that. Possibly, you could argue, it doesn't need to be double-handed, uh, but she does use a two-handed fighting style, and this has got a fairly long grip on it. So gripping it down there, it's actually got as long a grip as the Atlantean and a longer grip than the Father's Sword. So once again, it's similar in proportions to a Japanese um, katana, for example. So, absolutely, I think this is a fantastic fantasy design. It looks like a fantasy sword, but it also looks like historical swords. Valeria made it look awesome, and she also does really good choreography in the movie. So once again, I hope this has been enjoyable to watch. Um, thanks to Windless for letting me play around with some of their display. And if you haven't watched Conan the Barbarian, you really have to. And uh, also, I'll check a link below, down below to um, MRL and Atlanta Cutlery's websites uh, where you can get these babies. Hope to see you back on the channel soon. Give us a like and a subscribe. Take care, folks.